Tonight, the University of Hawaii details plans to better care for Mauna Kea, including preventing new sites from telescope development. Instead of calming the clash over the summit, the plans fuel protesters' resolve to protect the mountain. KITV4's Paul Drews explains. There are big changes coming to Mauna Kea. The University of Hawaii outlined how it will transform recommendations made by Governor David Ige and others into reality. We knew from the beginning that we had to lay down some very specific plans. Those plans include removing a fourth of the telescopes at the summit at an estimated cost between two and five million dollars for each observatory to return its site to its natural state. The big challenge in decommissioning is that you have to unconstruct something that in some cases took two or three years to put together. So the physical taking down um, is the difficult part. Meanwhile, thousands of acres of land not being used for astronomy will be turned over to the Department of Land and Natural Resources to manage and care for. Leadership at the University of Hawaii say they've been talking with many different groups about the future of Mauna Kea and cultural training for everyone who goes up the mountain, not just the scientists who work there. The um, leaders of the protectors along with other um, concerned members of the Hawaiian community and the other stakeholders, um, they have been very respectful, they have been positive. Um, I think we share a lot of common interests in uh, protecting Mauna Kea and the stewardship of Mauna Kea. But not when it comes to the development of the 30 meter telescope. UH says it will put in writing that TMT will be the last new site developed on the mountain. But those opposed say that may not be the case. What the Hawaiian community is consistently seeing is that, well, this is the last one. And this is the last one. And well, after this, then we won't do it anymore. But that's not going to be the case when it comes to the TNT and Mauna Kea. Each generation of native Hawaiians has found a rallying point by fighting to protect a particular piece of land like Makua or Kaho'olawe. This time, it's Mauna Kea. What our Hawaiian community and those who support our initiatives. Uh, will put forth is that you will not build the telescope. So, in short, it's not necessarily about money. This is about our community asserting itself for what we view as one of the final and, and, and pinnacle places that we should not allow to simply pass out of our hands. Now, the university says it's been talking to other observatories about decommissioning telescopes, but could not say which ones. It'll also start up community meetings this month to get public input on their future plans, including who else should have access to the mountain besides Native Hawaiians and scientists.